Can somebody tell me why the entire state of Wyoming is on fire right now and nobody even knows this? Multiple counties have been affected with over 100,000 acres on fire with zero containment. Now you're asking yourself, what is going on with these natural disasters and smart cities and land grabs? You guys, I looked into this one. This is the biggest one yet. First, let's start with where the biggest fires are, starting with the Elk Fire with over 74,000 acres currently on fire. Elk is located in the Sheridan County and the other counties on fire is the Telton County and the Fremont County with 58,000 acres combined with zero containment. This list shows all the fires that happened this year in Wyoming from the start date and containment date and what caused them. Some were caused by human activity and some like this one was caused by lightning, but I'll reserve judgment on that. But here's a weird thing about the last two. So the Telton County and the Fremont County actually merged together on October 5th, but started in August 16th. Now, it's not so much that the fires merge, that happens all the time, and these two counties are next to each other, but it's the timing. It's two months later, and you had multiple containments in between these fires. Now, you could say this is a land grab with Wyoming being number six with the most land owned by the federal government with over 46%, but it's way more nefarious than that. Now, you remember that first county I showed you, Sheraton, with over 70,000 acres on fire? Yeah, they just found the biggest deposit of rare earth minerals worth 37 billion dollars now the question is does the government own this land it says here the sheraton county wyoming is a governmental entity that operates under the jurisdiction of the state of wyoming but it is not owned by the u.s government now another question is can the government take this land it says the government can take private property during a disaster under the power of eminent domain which allows for the acquisition of the property for public use provided that the owner is compensated. However, this typically occurs when the property is needed for emergency response efforts. Oh, like a fire caused by lightning? Got it. Oh, it doesn't stop there. So the company Wyoming Rare got $450 million from the feds for the Hollow Creek project because they found even more rare earth minerals on the other side of Wyoming. This is a tens of billions of dollars play because they said it's so big that it could be a world leader of how much minerals they have. You really have to ask yourself, how many coincidences have to line up before it's not a coincidence? Woo! My man was cooking there. Guys, welcome back to the channel, guys. And like, I, like he said, Wyoming is on fire. Fire! right now up to 600,000 acres mostly private land on fire in golf right now have you heard about it in the media in the news today have you even read about an article have you seen any or heard anything about this just like the disaster of the hurricane helens going up there taking out most of half of north carolina in the mountains out there where we got lithium, lithium material for batteries for the EVs and everything else like that. Wyoming is on fire, guys, in golf. And like I said, guys, if you're not on X or Twitter, you're not getting any of the, any of the real news, guys. And I had to point this out because this should be – I know I'm in Florida. Hur Hurricane Melton is on its way here. This is Wednesday, October 9th. Yes, I understand. Yes, I understand we got Florida getting about to be hit with a hurricane, but this should be number two in the media right now. Why is Wyoming on fire? Why haven't there been no reports, really no breaking news, why this is happening? What is truly going on in this country, guys? Land grabs, disasters, everything you could think of is going on right now. From the hurricanes being altered by mankind, what is truly going on in this country? When I say our government hates us, when I say our government hates us and wants us gone, this means how much more proof can you can you get? It's not conspiracy theory no more, guys. People need to wake up. People truly need to wake up. Get out of your little fantasy world. Get out of your little, get out of your safe space. It's time to truly wake up. And all these natural disasters, 
all this emergency FEMA, they don't have the money. The government, AK, don't have the money to help you. Like I said, don't have the money to come get you. Will not come save you. They'll not. They'll just give you partial. If you're still alive after all these natural disasters, you'll get partial. You'll get a little small check if that. Good luck. We we're keeping this land now. Good luck. Goodbye. This is oh my god, I I can't. If you you still believe it in the government and in the system, you're a fool. This is this is a pure evil guy. That's awesome. An estimate to total actually one point two billion cubic feet of gas. Elf fire. Something happened here on fire. October seventh. Is ain't exactly clear. Look at this. There's a man with a gun over there. This is why I'm doing the video. This is why I'm trying to. This is why I'm here, guys. Push this out. Share these video, guys, because I bet you nine out of ten people don't have a clue what's going on in Wyoming or what's truly going on in this country. When I say our government hates us, I mean it, but the feeling is mutual. Prepare, prepare, and train accordingly. You've been warned. This is your boy, The Drunken Sailor.